Hello and welcome to the webinar. My name's Jay Wilson from Onyx Reporting. Uh, today's webinar, we're going to talk a little bit about how you, both the end user or the partner and reseller, uh, can get the most out of Jet Reports by using the report player. If you're not familiar with the report player, it looks like this. The report player is an application that you can install on your computer, and basically it's a graphic way of accessing all of your JET reports. Now what we're seeing here is a set of 104 generic JET reports that you can get for free from the JET reports website. So here's a website right here, um, jetreports.com slash welcome. If you go to reports, You can see that uh, the report player could be downloaded for AX, NAV, or GP. And as I said, uh, for NAV anyway, the report player consists of 104 generic reports. What it really is, um, is a folder that gets installed on your computer called My Reports. There's a folder called Reports, and here we can see them all. Now, some of these reports are going to apply to you and your business, and obviously many of them might not. For example, a good number of the reports are specific to LS Retail and Jet Enterprise. If you're an LS Retail customer um, and have bought the Jet Enterprise solution, we have a cube for you, and we have a set of generic reports that will work for you. Now, if you haven't purchased Jet Enterprise, any of these reports that have the word enterprise in it probably won't apply to you. But there's a good set of reports that are not enterprise specific. So here's an essentials only report, a couple essentials only reports. Um, I wanted to take a look at one of these reports, one or two of these reports. Here we go. Um, this is their GL monthly income statement report. This is what you see uh, when you open up the report um, and you're looking at the stock data that the report was saved with. Each of these reports from the report player does have a readme page that gives you information about what you have to do before you can actually run this report. So for example, it indicates here you do have to um, adjust the account numbers and names to match your database's chart of accounts. That kind of makes sense, right? Um, additionally, you'll notice that this report will work for both Jet Express and Jet Essentials. So if you are trialing, um, sorry, not trialing, if you're just on Jet Express, it is possible to, that some of these reports will work for you. Okay, now I'm not going to go through the process of updating the GL account numbers, but what I do want to do is show you what happens when I push the report button. You'll notice that an options dialog box comes up where I can set a year and I can choose to include or exclude closing entries. And then I can run my report. Now you might say, Jay, this is a great start, but I have 15 companies in NAV. I need to be able to choose one or two or three different companies to report on. You might say, Jay, we, we uh, do this by cost center. I would love to have this report by cost center. Or I would love to be able to do a breakdown by job or filter by a specific vendor. Who knows? Whatever your reporting needs are, that's not a reason to not use the report player. In fact, I would say that if you start with the report player and figure out all the shortcomings of the reports you like, oh, I really like that dashboard, but you know what? It just needs to do X, Y, and Z. If you write those complaints down, you can use those complaints to drive development and customization of your JET reports or your JET um, Enterprise Cube environment. In fact, I find a lot of times with clients who haven't used the product yet, the first thing they say is, yeah, we looked at the report player, but it didn't meet our needs, so we kind of just left it. And I think that's really un unfortunate because the report player can help you figure out 
both what you want and maybe what you don't want. Okay. Um, I wanted to take a look at another report. This is a um, report built against the data warehouse. Um, this is, well, sorry, this is a report built against the Jet Enterprise Cubes. You can see it's a little bit more graphic. We have some buttons to click on when we're selecting our filters. Again, all of these reports have a README section that tells you what you have to do before you can run the report. Now you might say, Jay, we bought cubes because we want to be able to get into some dashboarding. The stock project, or sorry, the report player does have some dashboards that are laid out with graphics and slicers that you can click on. And again, the conversation always is, what do you like about this dashboard? Where does it fall short? Right? As I look over here at year, you might say, oh, that reminds me, we don't report by calendar year, we're on a 445, we report per week. So we need to have customizations to the cube to reflect that. And that's, you know, that's something that your Jet Reports consultant or partner or JTR can help deliver. You might look at this slicer called Global Dimension 1 and Global Dimension 2 and you might say, yeah, it'd be awesome if it was called department and customer type. And oh, by the way, we have these four or five other advanced dimensions that are really important to our sales reporting. All of these things that you wish were there are customizations that can be implemented if you tell us, right? But that's the first part is to figure out where does this stock cube fall short of your custom reporting needs. Uh, getting back to the report player, um, in addition to helping, in, in addition to using the report player to kind of explore what do I want, for those of you who already have a body of 50 or 10, who knows, many reports, if you have a set of reports and you just wish your end users would use it more, but they can't remember what the files are called or whatever, the report player is customizable. Insofar as um, what we can do is we can take a finished report and add it to the report player. So what I'll do here is I'm going to open up one of my, this is a generic report, well this is a report that I customized a while ago or developed a while ago. I say okay this report here, this is a great report, I want this report added to the report player so that people can just click on the icon and this report opens and they can run it and so on. Uh, the first step um, towards understanding the report player is really just to recognize that the report player is split into two major pieces. There's a folder for the actual reports, the Excel spreadsheets, and then there's a folder for the image of what it looks like in the report player and basically you just have to make sure that the file names match. So, you know, what I might do is say, okay, let's take a snippet or let's take a, a screenshot of this report. So I'll go and create a screenshot. Grab my snipping tool and Okay, that's going to be the screenshot that you see in the report player. I just have to save it in the right location. So under documents, under my reports, under images, I'll just call it 1J balance sheet. Um, it is correct to save it as a .png. It's not correct to save it as a JPEG or a bitmap or anything else. It has to be a .png file. All right, I'll save this guy. And then I have to save this Excel spreadsheet in the correct folder as well. So I'll go File, Save As, and we'll put it in the correct folder. So here, Users, 
documents, my reports, reports, I'll save it into this reports folder. And you know what? I just have to make sure it matches the name of the picture. All right, let's save that guy. I'm going to close the report player. And let's reopen the report player. And there it is. My balance sheet report has been added to the end of all of the existing reports in the report player. So again, you could do this for all of the JET reports that you currently have. Just save a screenshot, save the file into this folder, and then you could probably just zip up the whole sit setup and then distribute it to your end users. That's method number one. Um, there are other ways of distributing JET reports. You know, you can do SharePoint or save it on a network drive. There's all sorts of options, but this is a visual way of distributing the reports. Now, you know, there are 100 plus reports in here, probably over 75%, which don't pertain to me for whatever reason. I don't like it, or it just is about, it's using enterprise and I only have essentials, what have you. You can customize which reports you actually see. To start with, um, you would delete the, you know, 75 files that you don't want. And then you have to modify this little config file here. I'm going to make a rec recommend if you're not co comfortable looking at XML, um, maybe you shouldn't edit this. Uh, but if you wanted to, here we can see this is basically the layout for what I see in the report player. And then way down at the bottom, here's my new report. And this section right here, I'm going to cut it, you know, and then I delete all the stuff that didn't matter. And then I'll paste my J. Wilson report up here at the top. So here under reports, I can add my report. Um, at the very tippy top, you can see I can customize the company information name and URL. Currently it's blank. I'll add in that custom information. Yeah, this config file is for my company, Onyx Reporting, and my URL is www.onyxreporting.com. Um, I have to save changes, close WordPad, Let's reopen report player. And this time you can see that my balance sheet has been brought to the first because that's the first entry in that XML document. Again, you, you can go about customizing that config file, but I would recommend making a backup of it first just in case you wreck it. Okay, let's wrap this up. The report player is a body of 100 plus reports. Many of them will not be useful to you, but a couple of them will be real gems that you can use to drive development. And for whatever reason, it seems to me that people don't know about the report player. And there could be a number of reasons to that. Part of it could be that, you know, as a software reseller or somebody who delivers jet consulting services, we might say, oh, gosh, I don't want you to know about the report player because that's money that I might not get from you because you're using the generic reports. And, you know, honestly, I don't think that's ever been the case with any of the clients I've worked with. One of the reasons I recommend that everybody know about the report player is that clients and users can get started today. They can start using it today, right now. They can go through all of those hundred reports and say, I love this one. I hate this one. I love this one. I can't use this one. Clients who use your software are going to keep that software. They're going to find reasons to keep that software. They're going to find ways to tweak it 
That's what it's really all about, is identifying not only what we don't want and what the shortcomings of the system, uh, of the stock project is, we want to know all those shortcomings so that we can use that to drive consulting. We can use that to say, okay, next time I have a consultant come on site, these are the customizations that we want delivered. And at the end of the day, you're going to have happier clients because they feel like, oh, this is really customized to my needs. But it starts by figuring out what the shortcomings are or at least knowing what you really want. Um, the last bullet I have on this conversation is that the more I feel like the reports are custom to my needs, the more I feel like the reports are able to actually answer the questions that I have, the more likely I am to use that BI solution, to use the, the one version of the truth that we get so excited about, to be able to use those pivot tables. And as our clients become more comfortable with running jet reports, with running um, cube-based analysis and pivot tables, the more sophisticated they become, and the more sophisticated they become, the more they say, ooh, I wonder if the system could do X, Y, and Z, and they start asking for more solutions, solutions that translate into consulting time with this, um, with the, the cubes or jet essentials. And again, all all that does is as we deliver on those um, requested features, we start having happier and happier customers who stick with the product. So um, that's my spiel on the report player. Uh, if you were wondering where you go to get your hands on it, it's jetreports.com slash welcome. Alternatively, if you're like me and you can't remember anything, if you have Jet Essentials installed when you go to help, resources, um, that will take you to the resources page, um, which will have a link to the, to the report player. Again, this is not just for Dynamics NAV users. We have a set of reports for GP users, as well as a set of reports for the AX users who are using Jet Enterprise. So that takes us to the end of the presentation. My name is Jay Wilson. Feel free to reach me at jae at onyxreporting.com if you have any questions. And I look forward to hearing from you. Cheers. Bye.